What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to do a review of the Easy SMX game controller. So we paid $35 for this off Amazon.com and I'll throw a link down in the description so you can get the same one. That will be an affiliate link by the way. And anyway, we are enjoying it quite a bit. We play it, my, my daughter plays it pretty much every day, plays with it every day pretty much. It is wireless as you can see and it is chargeable by USB-C right back here. In terms of charging, we charge it every couple days, every few days. You know, I'm just going to throw a number out. Probably it lasts like six hours on a charge. Not really sure about that, but we charge it every few days. Not a big deal. It's nice and easy with USB-C. In terms of the gameplay, well, I'm not a expert gamer. I haven't really played games since PlayStation 2 days, so I'm not an expert. But I can tell you from my personal opinion, it's totally good and fine like the the fidelity I don't know if that's the right word but the the amount that you move this seems to be appropriate you know everything is smooth I can do whatever I need to do in the in the game we play mind test which is kind of a open source copy of mind test uh, minecraft and that's mostly what we play some other older games too but uh, for for the purpose of this it's totally fine there's no delay or anything like that uh, yeah it's really performance wise we're totally happy with it I will say one thing though that we don't love about it so much let me show you we'd accidentally hit it or or something like that and it got bent and ruined it didn't work anymore but the good part is on Amazon I was able to buy a replacement one which works perfectly for I think nine or ten dollars so the gamepad itself cost 35 uh, then we broke one of the the original USB uh, communication stick we ended up buying another for another 10 bucks. We have $45 into it, but you know, overall it's, it's working perfectly. All the buttons work. Everything is smooth. It has these two little ones, actually two buttons on the bottom like that, which also work fine. We don't use those very often. You can turn it on with this, this button here. It does fall asleep by itself if you're not using it, which is nice to preserve the batteries. Um, what else can I say about it? It has a vibration mode, which we don't typically use right there uh, You can change the lights the the brightness of the lights or turn them off completely The quality itself like the feel in the hand the durability is actually I would say really good probably better than The old game pads in the 90s that I used to play with the Nintendo and all that like this feels really solidly built like I'm trying to twist it you might hear a little squeak if I really try, but I mean, it's pretty solid. Has a, a healthy amount of weight to it. So, yeah, it feels like a good build. You push the buttons, they have nice positive springs. Spring back, I like that. Speaking about compatibility to different computers, we actually are using it on this Linux Mint machine and it does work perfectly fine with most games. No issues, it was really just plug and play. For mind test, we do have to use a program that, uh, basically it's a third party program that's, um, it's allowing the joystick to drive the keyboard, which is a little bit funky, but it does work once you're in the game totally fine. So it's basically, you're mapping the keys here all to the keys on the keyboard which is driving the game surprisingly there's no delay or anything like that that's noticeable but uh, for a lot of the game most of the games I think this is the only game that requires that most of the games they just work totally without any without having to do anything uh, I'm sure it's also compatible with Windows I wouldn't I wouldn't want to talk about Mac I, I don't know if it would be compatible with that or not it does have some extra features here that we've never actually used this one says turbo back Start and mode we even rarely use. We usually just turn it off and on and then use these five here, these one, this one, this one, occasionally some games up here. But I know we're not using all the features that it has. I also don't really know what this is about. These, these, uh, I don't know what these are about. Uh, maybe somehow you can put the controller in something, but anyway, we don't use that. We just use it like this and uh, it's been a good controller so far so I think that's all I have to say about it if it does like break down or stop working or if I have any additional news I'll put that down in the description or in the comments so that anybody can see that in the future but that's it for now thanks everybody for watching bye